he said, Who are you, Lord? At chapter 9, verse 5. Through the miracle of redemption, Saul of Tarsus was instantly changed from a strong-willed and forceful Pharisee into a humble and devoted bond servant of the Lord Jesus. There is nothing miraculous or mysterious about the things we can explain. We control what we are able to explain. Consequently, it is only natural to see an explanation for everything. It is not natural to obey, yet it is not necessarily sinful to disobey. There can be no real disobedience, nor any moral virtue in obedience, unless a person recognizes the higher authority of the one giving the orders. If this recognition does not exist, even the one giving the orders may view the other person's disobedience as freedom. If one rules another by saying, you must do this and you will do that, he breaks the human spirit, making it unfit for God. A person is simply a slave for obeying unless behind his obedience is the recognition of a holy God. Many people begin coming to God once they stop being religious because there is only one master of the human heart, Jesus Christ, not religion, but all oh, is me. If after seeing him, I still will not obey. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 5. Jesus will never insist that I obey. But if I don't, I have already begun to sign the death certificate of the Son of God in my soul. When I stand face to face with Jesus Christ and say, I will not obey, he will never insist. But when I do this, I am backing away from the recreating power of his redemption. It makes no difference to God's grace. What an abomination I am. If I will only come to the light, but is me if I refuse the light. John chapter 3 verse 19 to 21.